What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today is going to be a quick short video on something I've been asked a lot, how to crimp your servo ends, the proper way to crimp ends. So what we need is we need a crimp set. Now this is the one I buy on Amazon. It's 900. You don't need to buy this much, but I will link this in the description below. You are going to need a pair of small flush cut side bites. These are old and beat up, but this is what you want something real small you're going to need also another little pair of side bites these are very old but they're just regular old little side bites and a pair of wire crimpers so i use the ratcheting you can get these on amazon i'll link them in the description below as well and of course your servo ends let's get started so first thing we need to do is figure out how long we need the servo wire so we know that this wire is going to run up along like this and we are going to run it directly into the channel four port. So of course it's gonna go under here. So route it the way you wanna route it. We basically know it's gonna go like this, of course, all nice and down. So we're just going to put a mark with our Sharpie. Now take your small side bites, flush cutters, and just go ahead and cut that end off just like that. And then I always save these for extensions and stuff later on. Grab your servo kit that we need here. We know we need one end, so we need one of these, and we're gonna grab our crimped ends, and we need three of these that are this style. So we're gonna grab our other side bites. I don't like to use these for cutting any kind of metal. I like to use these because those get tore up. So we need three of these guys, and then you're gonna take them off we're the tree. Go ahead and grab our wire. So now what I do is I just take my little side bites, and I will separate the wires now i don't like to go very far with this you can pull them apart as far as you want so i like there to be about an inch three quarters of an inch about that much room is all we need so now we need to strip the wire so now i like to strip about a quarter inch off of the wire the you could do a little more you could do a little less so i just like to grab our wire here and strip off about a quarter of an inch and you're going to do that to all three of them right, we got all three of our wires stripped just go ahead and twist all your strands together so that way when you go to insert these guys into the crimp wire does not get frayed everywhere so now we have our wire ready to go into crimp now we need to grab our crimpers so for our crimpers here you will notice there's three different sizes so now you have your eight 28 to 24, 22 to 20, 20 to 18. Now we are using 22 gauge wire, but I like to crimp on the smallest eight, 24 to 18. So now something that I had to learn that I didn't know anything about. So when you look at your crimper, okay, this is the front side and this is the back side. So we are going to insert our crimp end in here like this. So you're just going to slide this guy in to where it's going down and I like to crimp it till it stops just like that now pull this crimp till it stops if you do not pull till it stops it's going to crimp this inside here and screw up the plug-in so now we need to start with the easiest way to do this is start with the negative so start with your ground wire okay so you're going to make sure this is good and twisted make sure your end is pulled all the way out and then you are going to simply slide this guy in and you are going to look on the back side it might be hard for you to see but you will see the wire stick through you just want to see it stick through enough and close it down and this is what you want to look look and see that the insulation is on the first part of the crimp the second part of the crimp is all wire so then you want to give it a good pull test it's not going to go anywhere and then you're gonna go ahead and duplicate the same thing with the other I two. I like to grab my negative, fold it out of the way, and then I will try to fold the signal out of the way so just the positive is sticking out. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. We pulled our crimp through, we're gonna slide our wire through to where the wire is sticking out about level there. I don't know if you can see that. And we're gonna cramp it down. And again, another good crimp, and then do the same on the signal. We're gonna grab our signal wire, move our positive and ground or negative out of the way. We are going to grab our crimper. We have a crimp preloaded. 
make sure our wire is straight. We are going to carefully slide that guy in there. We're gonna look through the other side to see the wires peek through. I don't know if you guys can see the wires peeking through. And then we are going to crimp it down. So now we have all three of our servo ends crimped down. We have good crimps. You're gonna do a little pull test. And then now we need to insert the actual servo plug. So that is going to be as simple as grabbing your servo wire. Now, the most important thing is that this is the underneath of the plug. So if you look at the plug here, these little holes here are gonna go into this sock. So what I do is I just keep the three together and I insert these guys into here, try to do all three of them at one time. Sometimes they can get a little crooked, so you kind of want to try to straighten them. Wiggle them as you push, and then push them through until you hear snaps. There are one snapped, there are two snapped, and once you get them snapped, give them a pull, and if they don't pull out, you are good to go. So now let's show move, making an extension. So this is exactly what we want to see. That is a perfect crimped in. The first crimp is your insulation. The second crimp is your wire. So you don't want your insulation to go past that first crimp right there. So of course, do a pull test, make sure those ends aren't going anywhere. We're making a extension for the governor sensor. So now we are going to do the other end, which is the male side. Now for this side, I stripped these wires pretty long, about a half inch. Now the reasoning for that is these ends have a three crimp zone. So your insulation crimp, wire crimp, and then a second wire crimp. So know if you have your wire long enough, you can take your wire, lay it down, and we know that that first crimp goes right to the insulation, and we have two good wire crimps. So now let's crimp these guys on. So we're gonna grab our crimper, and we're gonna grab our male ends. We're gonna go in the same hole here, now, sometimes you have to push these little ends here. So these little ends are a little far apart. So what I like to do is just give them a little tiny squeeze, nothing much, just for them to fit inside the crimper. Now, of course, if you were using the bigger area, it would work fine. But again, I like the crimp of the... Now, now look at here. So on the other one, I said pull it out. But on these, you don't want to pull it out. You want it to that second crimp right there. So it'll pretty much be flush in the other side of the crimper. And again, we are going to start with our negative wire. We are going to twist it nice and good so we have a nice clean straight shot. Try to do this and show you where I can see it. And then you are going to make sure that this didn't move because it did. And then go ahead, slide your ground in, your negative. Look on this back side. You see the wire there? Now we know from our test that right when it touches is exactly what we want. So we have perfect crimp, tug test. Now go ahead, do your other now two. We got all three wires crimped. Perfect crimps, everything looks good. Pull on them, no moving. And then we're gonna take our servo in now, and we are going to simply and carefully slide these long pins in, try to hold them straight while you're doing it. You might have to wiggle it around a little bit to get them to come through this side here. There we go, they came through. And then listen for the clicks. They're faint, but they clicked. Now pull on it, that is good. And then now you're gonna grab your end here. And if you look, I don't even know if you can see it, but down inside of here, there you go, right there. So down inside of there, there's a little pin there. Pay attention to the direction and you want that little pin to be on this side of the end. So when you push this together, you'll hear it clip together. Now the end's on, our servo lead is made up, perfect length to what we need. And it's just that simple. So hopefully this video answered some of your questions on how to crimp your own servo ends. Simple, done, and you have a perfect wired model. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and have a great day.